Gold Minded Records, they're not your friends. What up, it's Clive Craven. I'm back again with a brand new video. This time, a review. That's right, we're gonna look at a film that's absolutely one of my favorites, early 80s trauma film, probably my favorite trauma film that I've seen to date. Almost didn't even think it was a trauma film when I first seen it, just because it's a more serious type film, even though it is a bit out there. Um, the acting and everything is a little bit more serious and well done and a very enjoyable film at that. One of my favorite 80s slasher classics. <clears throat> it is an amazing film. I was lucky enough to have it on VHS at one point. Uh, sold the VHS for a decent price and now I finally upgraded it and got the Blu-ray and that is the classic Mother's Day. This is the original Mother's Day, not to be confused with the remake. I haven't seen the remake yet, but I would like to, but obviously I know it's not going to be on the level of this. Um, yeah, this, this story um, is absolutely amazing. I really love it. I love the idea that it's just a girl, um, or a couple girls that go to this, you know, uh, it seemed like a, a Tony Robbins type of encouragement type speech, motivational speaker type thing. And um, they meet this old lady or whatever, and, and I think they end up either giving the old lady a ride or getting a ride from her or whatever. Um, and they end up getting stopped, and obviously they end up getting stopped by these, these weirdos that are actually her sons, her kids. Um, and the characters that, that the kids play are just absolutely amazing and, and just when you see the things unfold and see how nasty this, this mother is and how terrible she is and how she, you know, she treats her kids like they're angels but they're these fucking monsters. I mean, they rape and they kill and they pillage and they're just really bad people but she absolutely loves them and adores them. They're her children so obviously there's that weird, bizarre, you know, family relationship there and the brothers themselves are just always fighting and real goofy type characters. Um, very strange looking, uh, not very educated, but just interesting characters that keep you intrigued, as well as the mother herself, a very interesting character. Um, it is brutal, it is savage, it is a fucked up movie, there is, um, I think there is either some rape scenes in it or very close to rape scenes in it, it's been a while since I watched it. Um, but it's definitely graphic, especially for the year and for being a trauma film. Um, I know they do a little bit more extreme stuff now in the comedic fashion, but this was just like brutal. This wasn't in a comedic fashion necessarily, it was just a savage movie. Um, but I really enjoyed this one. I do love it. It is one of my favorites. Um, I put it right up there with Maniac and Prowler and other great 80s slashers. Um, even though it doesn't follow exactly the traditional slasher formula, I'd still categorize it as a, as a slasher, weird family type film, similar to Texas Chainsaw. Um, it is an Anchor Bay release, this version of it, so it does have some cool features. I, I like that it has an Eli Roth segment on Mother's Day, which is pretty cool. I know he's a huge fan of the movie, and if you watch that segment, you can definitely tell. Um, but yeah, this is just a great film overall. If I had to rate this 0 or 1 out of 10, um, I'd probably give this a strong 8.25 to 8.50. Um, I really, really, really did enjoy this one. Um, I love the story. I just I, I love everything about it. The ending is really cool. The kills are great. Um, you know, it is a solid revenge story. It is enjoyable, and uh, yeah, I just really, really like this film, Mother's Day. What an absolute classic! Like I said, do not confuse it with the remake. Make sure if you check it out, it is the original, which came out in the early '80s. I'm looking on the back, see if we have a year here. 1980. Yeah, 1980. This came out, so very early '80s. Um, Make sure you check this one out. Give it a watch. Highly recommend it if you're a horror fan. This should be in your collection. You should already have it. Um, just a great film. But yeah, Mother's Day. Absolutely love that. That pretty much wraps up my review. Um, make sure you tune in uh, later in the week. I'll be back with more reviews, updates, unboxings, overviews, all that good stuff. And uh, make sure you subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment down below in the box. And I will see you guys next time. Thanks for tuning in and watching. Peace.